How'd things go? Not how you expect. When Devil's Breath came, enough of the underground got sick that they went into hiding. And Martin Lee going to... Jail and the demons. Yeah, the underground took over the demons' territory kind of by default. Not very dramatic. How many fire people are there? over to their position. There. Now to find the jammer. I should be able to track the wires with my suit. Wire run outs, probably a good place to start. Demon stuff, need to shut down the jammer. Hey, hideout's back on the grid. Nice, tipping the cops off now. Oh, I can't wait to write up this underground demons conflict for my podcast series. Thanks, Spider-Man. That's my cue to leave. Friends, small business. They have no greater champion than J. Jonah James. But they have an enemy, too. Spider-Man. Apparently, he's been disrupting their supply chains in Harlem. Here to tell us about it is the proprietor of local restaurant Panapuerk. Buenvenidos, Camila. Eh, hey, gracias, Senor Jameson, but there's been a misunderstanding. Spider-Man stopped the punks who were robbing us. I think your producer got confused. He kept wanting to talk to me in Spanish. Don't ask me why. Ugh, Jared's taking a course. Which he's clearly gonna fail. But having a Spider-Man in your neighborhood, fighting criminals in the streets, that can't be good for business. Actually, it's great. 
we got tourists coming in, hoping to see him. And when something gets damaged, my husband fixes it. His name's Jesus. He's a contractor. His business is called Y'all Meet Jesus. Anything gets messed up, he's your guy. <laughs> Thank you. I think we can all use Jesus right about now. Especially Jared, as soon as we cut to commercial. I said cut to commercial. Take your medicine like a man. I've always been afraid of a crane dropping something on me. No way I'm letting one fall over. <laughs> 